Well, hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's blog. If you're wondering what I'm doing with a dead CFL light bulb, I'm going to show you on how to take it apart to salvage on type of electron components on the inside of it. But the one thing I warn you about, don't try this at home because these light bulbs do contain Mercury, do be very careful if you decide to take them apart. If you want, you should be taking these apart outside. Do not do it inside your home because it can be a very deadly as well. But the one thing is it's already broke and the mercury has escaped from the bulb itself because I noticed something was going on and it was a funny smell uh, yesterday and it was flickering on and off and it finally blew itself out. But if you can see what I have on my table here. I got some vinyl gloves, and I got a Max on, a Max, I'm going to put this on, and also I got this towel, and of course, this little tool, I'm going to pry it open a little bit, and if you want to know what type of CFL bulb this is, take a closer look, this is a Sylvania CFL bulb, a 13 watt, if you can notice, it already broke, there was a little crack right there, but these are one of those uh, government or energy saving light bulbs and they really don't last a whole lot. But yeah, she kind of finally died. But before I start taking them apart, I'm going to put this Max on. I don't really need it, but you know what, I better save my lungs, you know, because you never know about this poisonous type of mercury what's in the, these bulbs. But let's go ahead and... Show on uh, these gloves real quick, and we're going to disassemble uh, this uh, dead CFL and see what type of electron components are inside of uh, this light bulb right there, and see what the issue is when you dispose of one of these light bulbs because it's considered e waste if you uh, show on uh, these away. But on this end, I already stopped popping in the pot. Well, let's go ahead and just pop it a pot. And we're just going to gently crack it open. This one's never been opened yet, but it takes a while. You really, really want to be very careful trying to take one of these bulbs apart because they are plastic and you can break them just like this. See what's on this inside. Ah, there's a little circuitry right there. Look at that lovely circuitry there, guys. And yes, this is what's on a mini CFL bulb. But I'm trying to be very careful because this light bulb is kind of shadowing over here. Trying to get this uh, little guy off here. I don't have my wire cutters. Let's see if I can pull the circuit board off. There we go. This here is contained the mercury, the light bulb, but this bulb already cracked and already did its damage. And on the inside, gonna swap this out. There we go. This is called e-waste, right here. This little ballast is what the cheap Chinese uses to make these uh, CFL bulbs. And down here, we got like a little resistor. But do not put these in your garage door openers or on any type of plastic things because of one issue because these things get very hot and these just completely burn out. Alright. Alright, there you go. Just be very careful you decide to take one of these apart though, guys and girls. Because these CFL bulbs can be quite deadly. Alright, if you're also joining in this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a nice, very nice comment down below. 
What do you want me to do with all this dead electron crap? But these all trash and this is trash. Typically I recycle all this, but my local trash men won't uh, pick them up or my local recycling won't pick these up. But uh, please like, please show. Peace out. Bye guys and girls. Oh, I hope you see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Be safe with your CFL bulbs. Please don't try this at home.